Oh, what are you? Yeah, I'd be taken aback too if I saw that. What the heck? Death is like the winter chill. No door can keep it from us. And so Uh, I thought it was a necromancer card or something. There is so much to tell you. And I have run out of time. Maybe this the is like the kind of like a Russian enough. inspired faction? The dark gods still feed on our transgressions. <gasps> Bob and Corruption. Tasty. That is Zeech? No, that's Zeech. That was Slugnarch. And Corn. Finally, we're getting the Chaos Factions. You must face these demons. Play some awesome demons, man. Cool Ice Sword. No. He's going out into battle. Of course, they'd be riding polar bears. Ooh. Chaos warriors. Sometimes you just want to play as the bad guys. These guys look very familiar. I don't want to spoil it, but uh, they did appear in a game that we streamed here on the channel. Almost like the same design. Oh, conquer your demons. Get chills, bro. Oh, I love that. Yeah, you have the, the logo appear out of all those weapons. Total War Warhammer 3. Epic first trailer. If you were a fan of these games, you'd be so hyped. That is the old dude who's like the advisor, right? We are the bulwark of the North. Behold. The unyielding motherland. Okay. Through Faction the teachings trailer. of the great orthodoxy, this world's end is kept at the bay. Our mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters. That man, yeah. Uh, does not look like he's having a good time. With the nice. Of Earth's and the mighty bear god and the power the of mighty the mighty bear god there them down whenever i see something like this it reminds me of Sejuani from league but uh she wasn't riding a bear the kiss left Cool? Uh, not really my aesthetic. But maybe they're cool to play. I mean, controlling a giant bear is uh, pretty fun. The motherland has turned a back on us. Exiled to a wasted land. Brothers and sisters betrayed. Was the meek cling to power? Is it just? <laughs> Imagine seeing that. He's just standing there menacingly. The bulwark the world relies on? Does it make us weak? To witness in 
was lost. Yeah, thought so. He wouldn't just show up there alone. Do we falter? No. We are molded by it. against an anvil of ice. Rage consumes us. But from the fire, we rise again. Hmm. Is he like being possessed by a demon? From the red fire, maybe corn? Or maybe that's just his power. I need to see fights with those like giant demons of corn. Actually, I should probably like take a look at some videos of actual fights in game. Damn. Where's the Doom Slayer when you need him? Of Here we go. Born of destruction. Of insatiable bloodlust. We are his savagery incarnate. The epitome of brutality. You know, Lizardmen are cool, but I really wouldn't mind playing any of these Chaos factions. Corn seems cool. I don't know how Nurgle would play. Conquer your demons. From the stars came the will to shape fate, hurling this world toward ruin. Isn't that one of the dark elves that we saw from the second game? Or wait. Oh, this is the more like I guess Chinese inspired empire. Uh what were they called again? The Cathay? This could be really cool. Isn't there actually a Total War game? No, I think that's a Total War Shogun or something. This burden is mine to bear. To offer guidance where it is most needed. There's going to be someone to who's like a leader or a lord who can turn into a dragon. Sacrifice. There's going to be a bunch of jade dragons or like... Just giant warriors that are made out of jade, because like that's that's the obvious aesthetic we're going for here, right? And of course we have the like the cannons that are like dragon heads. Ah, that's the the siege guys, right? Rip. Ooh, yeah, not good. Does not exactly fill any of your units with confidence. Okay, yeah, it's not Dark Elves there. Look at thing. Oh, here we are, the giant Jade Warriors. I don't know if they're made out of Jade. Sick. Need to see them doing these moves out on the battlefield. In game. Damn. Supreme Matriarch of Nangao. 
she's gonna turn to a dragon, right? Something's gonna happen here. Unless if she's some sort of mage. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Cool. Yeah, Warhammer Fantasy really is just like any old like fantasy trope turned up to eleven. Without harmony. And harmony only endures through us. We are unmoving. Like, like it's like a, a different lord for the cafe. We Still seems to be the Chinese inspired empire. The raging river. Behold, the there he is. Of the celestial dragon empire. The might of our warriors. Secrets of our alchemists. The sorcery of the dragon blooded. The dragon blood. Vanquish chaos with the sheer Literal power dragon born. of the dragon. In total war, wherever. Let them face the majesty of Grand Cathar. Conquer your demons. Become dragon. <laughs> Inevitable. <laughs> yes. Of manipulation. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about Z. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I just feel like Core and Nurgle are just more cool. That's just my opinion, though. I need to know more about these guys. These guys have hoverboards? Hmm. It's interesting how Zeech is kind of like depicted as a, a bird here, apparently. Or maybe that's just one of the lords. But I guess they are the chaos god of like change, so. We'll thunder and feast on any any beast. Doesn't matter. We'll snack on their mold. The stragglers we did consume are dropped in our sacrifice too. They scream and they run, but that's part of the fun. As the ogres are coming to the ogres. Okay. Are they like not part of the green skins? Or maybe they're just like their own little faction. <laughs> this man has a belly that rivals the other guy we saw. The paunch dude. Seriously.
Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know about the ogres. Not my thing. Unless if there's something, like, cool about them, then let me know, but... Yeah, it's just like, can I really beat the... the Chaos... factions? Chaos Demons. What is this ASMR? <laughs> so close. Never enough. Oh. He wants more. We all wanted more. Nice try. Who is this? Happen, but rest in peace. Ah, there he is. And Slanesh, yeah. This is 100% gotta be Slanesh. I, I thought the Dark Elves worship Slanesh, but uh, apparently they worship Kane, was it? Different god. Tasty. Is he, like, in the Chaos Realms or something? Hmm. Okay, cause, like, here... It, it's kind of hard to get, like, a, a still frame of this background, but this does not look like anywhere on the overworld map. And, and I mean, our guy here seemed like he teleported to a, some sort of different alternate dimension somehow. So maybe this is, like, the, the Chaos Dimension for Warhammer Fantasy? Uh, I don't think it would be called the warp, right? I think that's a 40k thing. So maybe the chaos demons themselves also have to like fight amongst each other uh, in order to claim territory within the chaos realm or something like that. Because uh, I, I do remember that uh, they don't like each other very much either. And like speaking of, I didn't get a good look at these guys and this image is pretty blurry, but are those just like little tiny Nurgle babies? <laughs> just clinging on to each other and attacking people? Oh, yeah, Nurgle. Of course. The flesh legion marches. Got wasps. The yeah, some Pray. rotting dudes. Big guy eating. The little guy. Of life and decay. I the mouth and the stomach, man. A fertile universe, pregnant. Some sort of snake thing. Looks like a really fat Medusa. Oh, here they are. Okay, get a better look at these things. What are... Um... They're like mini... Nurglings? <laughs> I mean, what else would you call these things? <laughs> it seems kind of horrifying. It's like a, a mass of just tiny babies clinging onto each other and eating everything in their path. Ugh. They're using each other as a whip? Okay. Yeah. 
Kaki Fiskust. And Sludash. Oh my, about to make me act up. Pleasure beyond imagining awaits you. Desire. Those kind of look like seahorses. Excess all things. Partake of perfection. Cool moves, man. To the dark Assuming it's similar to like in 40k, I think they were like more just less armored but much faster. Submit to slanish. Yeah, okay. Looks pretty cool. I mean, I I would prefer this I over Nurgle a little bit. But who knows? Prince then. A prince now. The gods themselves court me to bear their mark. Seems like a wait. I have time. Oh, this music. Coming smarter. <laughs> the gunfire on beat. I guess these are like the different lords for the chaos factions. Demons, I mean. One heck of a title to claim, dude. What is this? Yuri, you have led your kin through the mountain pass. Once more, the light of Kislev shines in the darkness of the chaos wastes. Our like, comrades fear this land. How in the world do humans fight against that? Stop us. <laughs> All these we demons that we just saw. We worship blood and fire. Match their rage with our own. The fears of lesser men must not sway you from the right. Gotta leave path. them behind. Offer no mercy. End his reign of bloodshed. You hold sin in your hand. I hold strength in my hand. Our journey has just begun. Together, we will roar to melt the snows. Together, we free Kislev of this winter. Are you still my brother? Yuri! Don't be a fool, Garrick. Does he not guide me? This seems more like a movie trailer than a game trailer. <laughs> son of Kislev. Okay, more cafe stuff. Who? The undead, obviously, yeah.
What is that? Ah, uh, the armies of Nurgle. Wait, wasn't that Skaven? Maybe I was mistaken. Ooh. And the Hydra. Actually, I think that might have <laughs> literally been the same animation from the Total Warhammer 2. Summon the Elector Counts. Okay. Immortal Empires. Ah, I've read in the comment sections that Immortal Empires is basically this huge map where they have every single faction that's uh, been in each previous game too. Uh, and I'm like, how is that going to work exactly? Like, if every other faction is like AI controlled, then I guess it's not too bad of like a waiting time. But I can imagine campaigns lasting for several weeks on end. And from like a, a game design perspective, I, I feel like that would be too long unless if you like severely invested into the total war series so i guess like a, a smart thing that you could do is introduce some sort of like maybe short-term victory in that instance because the uh, ain't no way you're going to be conquering all like all these factions in a, a, any reasonable amount of time or maybe you could even have like uh some sort of game ending event like uh the, the chaos demons they they appear on like turn 100 or 200 or something and they just wipe out everybody and you have to fight against them maybe but yeah i'd actually be really interested to to see how immortal empires actually works oh join the open beta <laughs> well it's been out for a long time Wow. Just chilling. This guy looks decked out. Finally an interesting opponent. I bet you he's gonna get crushed immediately or something like that. He looks so happy. Champions of Chaos. Maybe adding more, I guess, heroes? Stupid chillin'. Ah, Skaven. Are you an ogre? Yeah, you look like an ogre. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell between the ogres and, like, just Nurgle demons. Damn. I think he said insufficient? What are you looking for? guy's trying his best, man. Oh. That could be something. Of course. <laughs> the ingredient was life. And it has so willingly come. <laughs> I'm I'm happy for him, I guess. <laughs> yeah, more champions of chaos. Oh man. Champion for the kiss love. Oh. 
Oh my. Oh, what are you? Yeah, I'd be taken aback too if I saw that. What the heck? What is this faction? I can't... I don't recognize them. I can't immediately tell. I'm guessing from the purple colors, maybe Slanesh? But there's also blue, maybe Zeech. If we're assuming the first guy was Korn. Second one was Nurgle, then maybe this is each? Maybe it wasn't part of the ogres? I mean, they are champions of chaos, I should probably guess that. Then this would be Slanesh, right? From the aesthetic, I'm gonna guess on Ish. Not doing too good though. <laughs> Maybe it's time to, to power up. Forever pursuing their patron's favor. To be favored is to be blessed. Hmm. Forever pursuing their champions. But are no, their patron's favor. Come, seeking to claim their prize. Maybe they're like their own thing then? Like they're not a hero, but they're like a lord? This little guy like, trying to help him. A champion does not retreat from such opportunity. to prove their worth. Now the time has come to reap what has been sown. The true test awaits. Oh, this guy looks badass. I wonder what that was about. It is time, my lord, to engrave your legend into the world. But do not be hasty to thrive in this vast and volatile domain. You will first need to study the lay of the land. 
In the far southern wastes, he who hunts unseen <laughs> is in his element. Isn't that the skunk dude who survived of the dark gods, Chaos Realm? Wages a war of revenge against the fell powers and any who would stand with them. I think you guys said Along that he was like the ragged shores, little doom guy demon horde spills of into Warhammer world, Fantasy. Tainting the very land on which they step. In the jungles of the gods, Teclis has sensed the need of his presence. Be it the Skaven scurrying through these trees, or an imbalance yet to be discovered, Teclis will oppose the ruinous powers in all their forms. <laughs> Kalida, High Queen of the Court of Libaris Tomb Kings, has reclaimed her ancient homeland. But her reign is fraught with challenge. The silver host vampire like this counts so also cool. lay claim to these lands, and from their cold hands, Kalida must pry the crater of the walking dead. To the lush east, the Kudas map is so father big. scours the Dragon Isles for new ingredients to fortify his plagues. Amongst the tropical palms and sandy shores, he discovers an enemy. Tefox spawn are a tenacious breed of lizard men, mysterious and otherworldly, with little love for the agents of chaos. In life, Helmand Gorst's taste for adventure Helman took him far from the He's been here since the first game. I remember Perhaps his name. It is the ghost of his past explorer that has seen him to the haunted forest, where he is set upon by all manner of creatures and all manner of new corpses to repurpose. A resource you'll find in abundance within Grand Cathay. If my sister is found delinquent in her duty, then we defend the Bastion. The Dragon Emperor's territories are vast, varied, and fractured. Amongst the stoic Cathayans, whose architectural prowess is beyond compare. Skulk creatures of foul intent. The vampiric curse siphons life from the land, which is trampled beneath the heavy boot of all vampiric war bands, curse. and burrowing deep into the heart of this once great nation. A subtle infection of Skaven. <laughs> this was the dude we saw in that uh, one trailer from Warhammer 2. Clan Ishin? I remember Ikid Claw's name, but that's not the guy. Ikid Claw's the one with the, the nukes. Enemies within We're still not beyond. done. The great bastion's what is this map? continued survival is a constant the uncertainty. The literal world. One Miao Ying must contend with if she means to bring harmony to her homeland. Once more, the In the barren north, hope, mercy, and virtue are not common commodities. These jagged rocks, sickly forests, and broken mountains mirror the soul of a world uh, overrun there they by are. corruption. The perfect stage for the likes of Grimgor Ironhide and his ilk to test their mettle against ravenous ogres. In the path to the east, the Green Slaughterer will find game worthy of his considerable prowess. In these the twisted what? chaos wastes, Just a floating island with a chain men connecting it. Devote themselves to the dark gods in exchange for a morsel of strength. What's going on to the world here? Certain few managed to wrestle more than scraps from the gods' table, but Archeon, the ever chosen, is not one of them. He will use his demonic gifts to see the mortal world bleed. But the mortal world is not so easy to tame. When men like Boris Ursus grow tired of being a shield, and instead become the spear. Kislevite spears are a tool the demon prince knows intimately. In his past life, he wielded one in the name of honor. Now, 
He wears a different name and cares only for forging himself into a weapon of unfathomable destruction. Sometimes, the demon carried friends. on the whisper of an ice-laced breeze, he hears the name Daniel. Daniel! Show yourself, Zarkan! A harsh and frozen world breeds violent and savage survivors. Slave traders, brutes, and self-made kings war over slivers of habitable soil in the Norskan mountains. Yeah, I mean, beyond, understandable. Lies the it's all we can survive. A tempting prize for the agents of chaos, and the most direct route Just into the wider territories of man. Here. Opposing ideologies will need to either unite or overcome one another to face a greater evil. The great orthodoxy protects you. I protect you. Take not one step backward. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have more pressing matters with the chaos demons, but... Kislev's shield is cracked, and through the rupture, all manner of horrors invade. A fact felt keenly on the isolated shores of Albion, which will soon serve as Bellacor's throne. I sit upon the precipice of God. There is no respite from corruption even in the waters, where dark terrors and vampiric pirates command legions of undead vassals. We're still going. In the kingdoms of Nagaroth, the Witch King builds a twisted army of hatred. There is no price Malekith would not pay to claim Malekith the Isles of Ulfran is the, and subjugate the dark elf those leader? who denied him his birthright. Apparently he was supposed to be like the king or something. Subjugation is no option for the Sisters of Twilight. Who fight bitterly in defense of their home. Sisters of Twilight are the Forest Elf Twins, yeah? But the decadence of the Dark Elves has summoned Slanishi and the huge dragon. And it is Lord Mazda Mundi, the Slan Mage Yo, priest, who must hold fast at the borders of Lustria. Lord Mazda Mundi, okay. Fueled by a millennia-long vendetta, Nakari arrives on Chris with a goal that would see the High Elves of Ulfman either slaughtered or dominated. Then there's this. What is that? We've seen this in the distance so many times the during of other trailers. Slanishi Roth has returned. Lustria, a continent rich with all manner of life. Here, civilizations as old as the world offer insight into a past rife with hardship, where brave lizardmen warriors laid down their lives in accordance to the great plan. All for the great plan. Still waiting to this day. How long is it? We're still not done with the map? Is this like the biggest total war game they've ever made? Kairos Fate Weaver comes to Dawn's Landing and the bottom of the world to liberate it of its high elf occupants. The changer of ways will have reasons for this journey, but to know them will be to court insanity. And the Tomb Kings. Giant skeleton dudes shooting lasers out of their eyes. <laughs> oh, Manfred man. von Karstein's that lust so for cool. power has led him deep into the shifting sands, where he contends with the likes of an undead contemporary, Citra the Imperishable. Each with imperial dreams, each with ambitions too broad to coexist. A lot of people said 
that people like the Tomb Kings because of Cetra. The hard rock and barren landscape of this pitiful mortal realm is a poor substitute for the glory of Korn's eternal battlefield. And although Scarbrand the Exiled is as far from his lord's skull throne as he could possibly be, <laughs> he finds some solace in the blood of an unending parade of orcs. Ah, there's the golems. Along the world's edge mountains, a cacophony of cultures thrash and vie for the right to exist. But it is the Dawi with the most at stake, and so Thor Grim Grudgebearer remains close to the ancient seat of his power. Thor Grim Grudgebearer. Maybe that was the dude who was like writing names into the the Book of Grudges or whatever they have. I think that was all the way back during Warhammer 1. Amongst the western border princes, the gore harvester has carved himself out a pine fishing hole. Scrag the slaughterer is a far cry from his fellow ogres, but he'll eat his way to the Great Moor eventually. One Empire Footman at a time. One Empire Footman at a time. I guess when he chucks him back into the bowl, it kind of consumes them. Yeah! And here, cradled within protective mountain ranges, lie the lands of man. Besieged by roaming beastmen, The Emperor? Ravaged by orc tribes. Ah, uh, that is, um, by wood elves. Bretonia. And the Wood Elves. And plagued by infighting that would tear them asunder. They must unite beneath a single banner or risk extinction. Yeah! <laughs> the world is indeed vast. The players constantly shifting, and there are further dangers here than meet the eye. It will take more than military might to conquer the unending threats. More than spirit and diplomacy to survive. It will take the forging of an immortal empire. Oh my goodness. That's the map? Oh. Okay. This looks My like the Blood for the Blood God DLC, yeah. In his short life. He told me, we do not explore frontiers. We tame them. We do not climb mountains. Ambush. We conquer them. The bears are covered we in do blood. Not despair, chaos. <gasps> we are Kislev. We do not have blood. We have eyes. And eyes cannot be spilled. Are you sure about that? I feel like there's a lot of ice spilling out of you. My father died a fool. <laughs> oh god, of course they had to have the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> the bears blood for the blood god corn is loving it oh i guess that's your father <laughs> uh, what a tale 
<laughs> was not expecting the royal home screen. More about the cafe? With intel? What is Spider. A mechanical spider. Why are we getting so epic all of a sudden? What is this? RTX on? <laughs> is that what's happening? <laughs> Wait, we're selling Intel CPUs using Warhammer? Okay. Mirror of Madness? Oh, it's a DLC or something. Couldn't really tell what it was. I guess maybe it's just Storm graphical thing, maybe? Gather. I don't know. Our borders are beset Empire. By Both mundane and immortal. You've been a while since we've seen them. How long can we withstand this onslaught? Why would the human we factions fight against each other an in a world like this? We either die alone or survive together. I concur. This threat is beyond any of us. With the Dark Elves. This is just another Elgate's game. I oh. see many leaders here, but you even speak for your people. High King, this is not the time for short sightedness. Short? Oh, no, no, don't. <laughs> you mentioned his eye, no! Oh my god. That's actually so funny. Dude. The corn demons just look so badass, though. Norska? The Norska are also kind of like a chaos faction, yeah. Enough! We must not be blinded by our own need for power. Bretonia. This is the moment. Your choices will decide the fate of this world. Always cool to see the laser shooting and skeleton all again. That inhabit it. Make the right one. Heck yeah. Alliance between the Empire and Kisla. You'll love to see it. Was it, like, not possible to have diplomatic relations between other nations until now? Uh, I feel like it should be ever since the first game. That just kind of feels like a, a grand strategy thing that you would do if you have several different civilizations. I guess it was more of a trailer just promoting immortal empires. And, like, seeing, uh, oh, maybe it's more like you could use the units of a, a different faction in your army if you allied with them or something. What was that? But to follow the flame. The fire to tear down the old ways. Burning away all fear, doubt, oh. and weakness. Chaos dwarfs? Nothing remains but power and ambition. This roaring fire will always demand more. More fuel. More sacrifice. The fiercest heat to forge the hardest steel. 
destiny. Whoa. Rising from within I guess these the guys are just like all about technology. Forging better tech. Sees the world with this fire. Is, is that some sort of titan? Burn first. Looks very much like one. Flaming snake warriors. Ooh. That is so cool. It's like you have your own Gundam. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can ride it, but... Hmm. Forge of the Chaos Dwarves, yeah. There you go. Man. Thanks to you guys in the comments, I've been directed to these two trailers that uh, apparently aren't in the video that I just watched. Because they're a bit newer. Uh, hopefully that covers everything. But uh, if not, then let me know. Herald Hammerstorm. In the tales of the Norse and the Kurgan, there is legend of a warrior unparalleled. A champion forged in the heart of fear who reached into the grave and found only hate. Is that our boy? Another necromancer. Okay, never mind. To embrace such hate is to become this a is nightmare. the dude. It is to wield dread as lesser men wield armies. The undead armies, yeah. It is to become fear itself. It is to become the hammer storm. You guys did tell me though, the one big weakness of these armies, the undead armies, is that if you kill the necromancer, you basically rout the army. Harold Hammerstorm. Free legendary hero now. Epic. Thank goodness it's not another paid DLC. <laughs> and uh, the final one, Shadows of Change. things I forget <laughs> what <laughs> this is a crow just scampering towards you
jade dragons, yes. Just flying stingrays for Siege. What is that? And of course, here comes the leader. Ooh, clean. Damn. Looks like uh, the message that he got was apparently a, a fake out, I guess. To draw him into this battle. Is that what they're suggesting? What does this give us? Shadows of Change. Okay, it is a DLC. The order. Uh, looks like it adds three new leaders, I'm assuming. Uh, one for Zeech, another one for, I guess, the Kislev? Who no. And another for Cathay. I love that the entire premise of this DLC story is just that the changeling likes to do a bit of trolling. Oh, okay. I, I guess the, the Kislev leader at the beginning was the changeling? And that's how they all ended up fighting. And we're finally done. I do want to learn more about each faction, so if you guys have any videos that you think would be a good starting point, then let me know. I'm literally a baby when it comes to Warhammer, so... Please guide me well. I've also seen a lot of you guys recommending a creator by the name of Pancreas No Work, so I might check out some of his videos after this. Maybe in some of the other Total War games, if you think they're worth reacting to.